I am Andrew Pike, CIO from BASF, and I run SAP. BSF is a um, German-based chemical company. It has its headquarters in Ludwigshafen, in the, in the centre of Germany, um, and has operational activities pretty much worldwide. We operate in, in well over 100 countries uh, through something like around about 300, 350 legal entities, and out of around about 1,300 sites now worldwide. I think at BSF we like to think of ourselves as offering um, a level of service quality, uh, reliability, uh, which is uh, uh, without comparison with, with most of our competitors. And I think on top of that, um, you, you can add in the scale of the company and its worldwide reach uh, means that um, we can deliver to uh, many of our global customers a very consistent level of product and service worldwide. Our core software suite comprises that's pretty much all of SAP's um, um, main product line. The relationship between BSF and SAP goes back uh, a long way and we were uh, one of the early users of the business warehouse when it first uh, appeared on the market. When the first let's say in-memory type of technology did appear under the, the guise of the Business Warehouse Accelerator. Uh, we were uh, one of the first adopters of that. I have to say, of, of many of the things which SAP has brought to the marketplace, uh, the Business Warehouse Accelerator has had immediate impact. Of course, with, with HANA, uh, it's, it's the next generation of this whole approach. It goes really right down to the, to the end transaction. And what we've done in the past is then, of course, create different uh, summarized layers uh, in our business warehouse in order to then service the reporting. Uh, and now with the in-memory technology and the charm is truly the fact that then you can work on the source data itself, on the source transactions, uh, and it means that we don't have any of these uh, redundant layers in between. The ability to load the entire database into memory, um, to, to optimize it with, uh, with these new optimization routines, the move to a column-based database technology, to be able to then uh, have an environment where both the transaction uh, applications and the analytics are both working off the same source of data, uh, this entire package is extremely compelling. The cost analysis, the COPA area, was the most interesting thing to look at in the first step. So we extracted the entire database off of our EOP system, um, sent it to SAP, and uh, we got the first results a few months ago out of all that, and they were really, truly astounding. We saw um, response times, uh, which improved around about 120 times. That is, they reduced from something like about 600, uh, 620 seconds down to about five seconds. Um, in one case of uh, assessing EBIT on, on our commodity sales, and this was really, uh, truly extraordinary. If you're taking then something like about 250,000 products and multiplying it through uh, 400,000 customers around about, you have a lot of data to, do, to deal with. And up until now, we just could not then handle then going to the next layer, which is really producing EBIT information. If you're talking about pure EBIT on a product uh, customer level, then you're talking about also uh, a, a monster amount of calculation to then um, allocate additional costs right down to that, that level and that requires an enormous amount of computing power and, uh, and needs definitely the appropriate response time in order to make that type of analysis for us useful. We talked about system speed but the second major topic in this area which interests us is, is data reliability um, and um, the, the degree to which we can validate our data of course depends on the, the speed of the database. With regard to uh, analysing our costs, uh, uh, this is a, a key part of our ongoing business portfolio optimization process. As we can uh, get uh, better data more swiftly and not have to wait for, let's say, the month end processing, we can get this more daily or if, 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 if at all possible on a, on a transaction by transaction basis. There's no question this adds a huge amount of benefit to our businesses, uh, allows them to adjust things on the fly much better and secondly then of course gives us much better insight into the real state of uh, real state of play in then determining how to then further optimize our business portfolio and make the right decisions regarding uh, evolving BSF for the future. We've done our first deep dive into the HANA database with the cost and profitability information. 
This has been extremely encouraging, it's not where we want to stop. Um, we are very much motivated to use the database for also for transaction uh, purposes, for the, uh, for the core part of, um, of the business week, to be looking at planning optimization. You're dealing with software which is extremely complicated and tends to require a lot of computing power. Um, this allows us to produce the right product at the right time. And if we can do that, then we can then deliver, hopefully, to the customer satisfaction also at the right time. And that's, uh, that's for us, an extremely important point. I think the in-memory technology and, and SAP's approach with HANA is definitely a generational change. Uh, the promises are great. Our first experiences are extremely encouraging. Uh, and all I can say is um, we, uh, we want to encourage SAP as much as possible uh, to, to roll out this, this, this program, the HANA program, as quickly as it possibly can, uh, ensure that then uh, it covers then the full range of its core products, uh, namely the, uh, the ERP and Business Suite, um, uh, SCM, um, Business Analytics. Uh, the faster SAP can do this, the better for us and it will add, as I said before, extreme value to the company and offer us great opportunities to uh, move our entire IT into a, a new generation of, of operations and support. SAP helps BSF run better.